It's almost impossible to tell the difference between the JBL3X and the JBL3. They both have the same price point, they both look exactly the same. This is the JBL3 and this is the JBL3X. They're both available in black or white colorways, so I picked the JBL3 in white and the 3X in black to make it easier for us to distinguish between the both of them in this video. I spoke with my friends at JBL and they told me that there is almost no difference between the 3X and the 3. And they weren't kidding. Just by looking at the earbuds, there is no way one could tell the difference between the two. Even the specs are the same. If you pull up the specs sheet, you'll notice that both of them use Bluetooth 4.2 as their main Bluetooth streaming platform. They both each have a 24 hour battery life. They sound the same and they even come with the same accessories. Now, the only way you could tell them apart in the store is from the box. Let me show you the box. Now these are the boxes. This is the JBL Freeze box and this is the JBL Free Access box. Okay, so as you can probably tell, they're both slightly different. The only other way that you can tell them from each other is if you look at the label. The bottom label says JBL Free for the JBL Freeze box and JBL Free X. So yeah, this is the only other way that you can tell. Apart from that, there's no way of telling them apart. So the key difference between the two of them in terms of performance is that the JBL Free X has much improved a Bluetooth connection than the JBL Free. When the Free was released, it was during a time when true wireless earbuds were still quite a relatively new thing, and it sort of was, sort of was accepted that uh, that signal dropouts will happen if you put your phone in your pocket. So the conventional advice given to people who buy these earbuds is to always hold your phone in your hand when you're uh, enjoying your music. Here, what JBL has done is they have released the JBL 3X to correct that issue in the JBL 3. But how much of a difference can you expect from the JBL 3X compared to the JBL 3? This I do not know, so we gotta take this outside to test, okay? And you're coming with me. Let's go. So guys, this is a great place to test how reliable the JBL 3 access connection is compared to the JBL 3. I'm in the shopping mall. Uh, as you can look behind me, there are quite a few shops and quite a few people walking by, each one holding a mobile device. So it's uh, all the Wi-Fi and wireless devices is bound to have an impact on the wireless connection uh, of these two wireless earbuds. So I have here with me the JBL 3 and I have in my pocket the JBL 3X. So how this is going to work is I'm going to walk to the end of that mall while playing some uh, content, I think perhaps maybe a YouTube video. And then we'll see if there are any signal drops or any interruptions. To challenge the earbuds, I'm going to put my mobile device in my pocket. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to play something. Now I'm still using a an old uh, iPhone 6S. So this is going to be quite interesting. Yeah, sure. So I'm just going to walk to the very end of that mall over there and then we'll see how it impacts the connection, okay? Let's go. Now I'm filming myself. I'm filming myself. Okay, so where can I film? So where can I film? You can do it outside the area. The, all the along the corridor that's like outside the circle wall. But all the shopping mall, everything must be kept for approval. Okay, uh, approval from who? The management. Uh, may I speak to the management, please? Uh, okay. The level 4, you can go to the level 4. Wow, I have just been told that I can't film in this mall. So I was being very polite about it. I was asking who can I seek approval from. They pointed me to the management's office. I went to the management's office. And, you know, a nice lady came up to me and said, they can't approve my filming here because they have to go through a approval process. I'm like, I didn't say it, but I was thinking to myself, wouldn't you want a vloggers, bloggers and influencers to come to your mall, you know, help you guys to drive traffic and stuff? But apparently they don't care for such things. So if you're a blogger, vlogger, influencer, and you're thinking of coming to this mall to film, don't. 
Okay, you don't. You gotta seek approval first and it could take weeks. Do it somewhere else. So, yep, I'm gonna film at a more uh, conducive place, okay? I don't know. I was thinking over there. Yep, so I think this place we have to do. This place. Don't know if you can see. The street. There's people, there are shops. So I guess there there's a lot of wireless devices here that might mess up the signal of the earbuds. So and we're outdoors, who knows? Maybe it'll be more challenging outdoors. Okay, so I'm gonna play something on my phone. We're gonna walk to the very end of this street. And then we're going to uh, switch over okay, to the JBL 3X and continue. Oh. It's got a quite windy. Hmm. There were some signal drops at the very beginning. Oh yeah. So let me put this in my pocket. I think I can... Oh yeah. The signal drops are really bad. I'm losing signal on both my right and left earbuds intermittently. Yeah. Phone is in my left pocket, by the way. Now it's okay. Now it's okay. But I'm just waiting for the next signal to drop. Okay. Ah, one more signal dropped. Okay, another signal drop. Yeah. So the connection is not very reliable. I think it's more to do with the Bluetooth connection from my earbuds to the phone. Okay, so let's swap the earbuds over and then we'll walk the same way back and see if there are any differences. Okay. Okay, so I've swapped over to the JBL 3X and as before, I'm gonna play the same video from my phone from YouTube and put this phone in my pocket then we're gonna walk all the way back to where we came from okay so let's do this let's see if the connection is more reliable phone in my pocket some slight signal drop when I put my phone in my pocket but yeah it's back to normal okay let's walk let's walk okay So far so good, except for that first moment when there were some signal drops, but now it's, there are no signal drops. Okay, it's pretty reliable, so far so good. Hmm. So far so good. So far so good. No signal drops. Remember, phone's in my left pocket, so this is pretty good. Good stuff. Yeah, so far so good. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit left to walk till we get back to where we came from, and yeah, this is where we stopped earlier. So, yeah, the Bluetooth connection is quite reliable. I mean, compared to the JBL3, the original JBL3, the 3X has way better Bluetooth connection. Very little to no signal drops. The only signal drop I experienced was when I was putting my phone in the pocket. So there was a slight signal drop there, but after that, no signal drops. So guys, I guess we can safely conclude that the JBL3X has much better Bluetooth connection than the JBL free of course if you compare the specs sheet of both products together side by side they are exactly the same they use the same bluetooth 
4.2 wireless code, uh, wireless streaming protocol. The codecs are the same. Everything's the same. Uh, but I suspect that JBL had put in a much better Bluetooth chip compared to the one they used in the free. So I'm glad that this improvement happened. And you know what? Uh, I'm just hopeful. Whoa, it's getting so windy. Okay, then I better end this video quickly because uh, the wind just messed up the audio. So I hope that all these other earbuds that JBL announced during CES will have the same level of reliability or maybe even better. And who knows, maybe in the year uh, 2020, we'll see, we'll finally see JBL true wireless earbuds with Bluetooth 5.0, okay? So here's hoping that I get to review those earbuds soon enough. My name is Aaron, you're watching Aaron's Online Wireless. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and remember to ring the bell to join my notification squad because I upload videos every single week and believe it or not, this is the only way that YouTube will notify you. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again in the next one, okay? Facebook out.